Hey guys, good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you doing? How are you this morning? Hope you're well, hope you're safe, hope you're healthy. I welcome you all in the name of Jesus. Each and every one of you, I welcome you in the name of Jesus. How are you doing? You're most welcome to this amazing and safe space of mine. Do me a favor, come in, give this video a thumbs up as you're coming in. Share this video. This particular video, please share this video. The reason why you're going to share this video is this particular one is for everyone. If you want to have a successful 2023, I am going to teach you a very effective way to lay an altar. I've been talking about this altar, I think from the first day of the month, because I know how effective altar is. You need an altar to succeed in 2023. That is the truth. Altar, we're going to talk about how to lay this altar when to lay this altar and what to lay this altar with it is effective if you have not taken any prayer i've made this year you see this particular one take it serious because this particular one no one i repeat no one has ever laid a successful altar for god and remained the same no one has laid a successful altar for God and remained the same so I urge you to share this video out to people okay and also subscribe to our channel if you've not subscribed subscribe so that you can be part of this prayer community on this channel we pray that is what I do I don't entertain people I pray. I pray for my needs and the needs of everyone. I intercede for you and for everyone. So on this space, we pray. We read the word of God. Our prayers and our Bible quotations are, are, and our, our prayers and, um, and um, the declarations we make are Bible based. So if this is what you like, if you like prayers, if you like praying, or if you have an urge to pray, or you want to deliver yourself from every negativity that has held you down, if you have a problem, you want to pray and deliver yourself completely from the bondage that has held you from succeeding, please do me a favor and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your bell notification. You know that little bell beside the subscription box? Turn it on. So that whenever I post a video or go live like this, you will be the first to be notified. Okay? Good. Now, back to... Um, back to altar. No, before I go to altar, please, ignore anyone that comes under your comment section, that comes under the comments you dropped, to introduce you to their WhatsApp. Hi, colleague, good morning. Ignore anyone that is trying to lure you to their WhatsApp. Ignore them. I notice there are lots of scammers on this space. Please ignore them. Don't fall victim. When they tell you to give them money for them to pray for you, or they want to introduce you to one person that prays, no, it is fraud. Do not, do not listen to them. I do not collect money to do anything. Even this particular altar seed, I don't do it for anyone. You're not giving me money. You're going to go with your two legs and lay your own altar because you're going to register your presence in that altar. So I don't collect money to do altar for anyone. On that day, I am going to go with my family to lay our own altar. So I urge you to go by yourself and lay your altar. Don't give anyone money to lay altar for you. Please. 
it is very important so let's go to um today's teaching laying an altar i've talked about why you should lay an altar this is why you should lay an altar if you're experiencing bad luck you should lay an altar if you're experiencing disappointment you should lay an altar this year 2022 we just have few days to go and 2022 will be over if this year was terrible for you please lay an altar for 2023 if this year was nothing to write home about you didn't achieve anything this year please lay an altar and if you achieved a lot and you want to continue achieving please lay an altar hi bell good morning why do you need to lay an altar you're laying that altar you're simply telling god take care of me this year you're going to go and lay an altar, registering your presence in the house of God. That the power from that altar will speak for you for the rest of your life. The power that comes out from that altar will give you breakthrough. Whatever you want. The good thing about laying an altar is this. It also selects the prayers they answer. When you lay an altar for God, every petition that you laid on that altar is answered. When you lay an altar for God, he blesses you. When you lay an altar for God, he turns your situation around. If you are having a very terrible situation, he makes it good. He gives you, and the testimony he, he will give to you is a shocking one. God is not a liar. He can't change. Whatever he says, he does exactly what he says. So quickly, let's go to the book of Numbers. Let's go to the book of Numbers. Numbers chapter 23. Numbers chapter 23. Hi, Daniel. Good morning. Numbers chapter 23. And he's talking about altar. Balaam laid an altar, laid seven altars, raised seven altars. When Balak, a prince, told him to come and curse the children of Israel. And when he went there, he laid an altar. He told them, get me things to lay seven altars. That from these seven altars, I will speak. And remember, Balaam was a prophet. And he was a prophet that whenever, whatever he says as a prophet stands. So Balak, because the children of Israel were successful, because the children of Israel were so many, Balak got envious. He wanted to overcome them. He wanted to empower them. He wanted to empower them. So that was why he called Balaam to help him cause the children of Israel. But when Balaam got there, God put words into his mouth. Balaam had, had a battle on the road when he was going to cause the children of God. But we're going to leave that. That's not what we're concentrating on now. What we're concentrating on is the sacrifice when balaam got to the go to where he was to curse the children of israel he told them to make him seven altars seven altars and when those seven altars he made seven each of them one two three seven seven means perfection Yes, you're laying them in different churches. You're not laying them in one place. You're going to lay these altars. I'm coming. I'm, I'm, I'm still explaining. I'll tell you what to do. Seven means perfection. 
is a perfect number for God to do something. It's a perfect number to hold God by his words that he will bless you. So when Balaam built that seven altars, he was on that altar. When he wanted to curse the children of Israel, he couldn't curse them. And what came out from his mouth was a blessing. Let's read it. And he said, Balaam said to Balak, build for me seven altars and provide for me seven bulls and seven ram. And when he did that, he stood beside the bond offering and perhaps God came there to meet him. When these seven altars were made for him, he started blessing. Let's go straight to, um, let's go, let's go straight to verse eight, where he was blessing them. How can I cause who God has blessed? The effects of an altar. When you build an altar for God, hi, no, yeah, good morning. When you build an altar for God, nothing can curse you. When you build an altar for God, nothing can curse your finances. Nothing can take your peace. Even if you have a curse that is roving around you, when you build an altar for God, that curse is destroyed. Altar destroys curses. Altar breaks yoke. Altar destroys limitation. Whatever thing that has been done against you, when you build an altar for God, it destroys that thing and sets you free. Remember, you're building that altar so that the blessings from that altar can speak for you all day long. The blessings from that altar can speak for you all the days. Then he goes again and he says, Who can count the dust of Jacob or the number that came forth of Israel? Let me die the death of righteousness and let, and let my end be. And I want to move straight to, I want to move straight to verse 19, where he said, God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should repent. He has said this, and he, has he not said this, and he did not do it? Or has he spoken and is not fulfilled? Behold, I, has, I have received the command to bless you. Behold, I have received the command to bless he has blessed and nothing can revoke it. He has, he has not beheld misfortune in Jacob, nor has he seen trouble in Israel. The Lord their God will be with them. The Lord will be with you when you raise an altar. Quickly, I want to go to Exodus 20 verse 24. Then I'll tell you what to do with your altar. Please read with me, read with me, read with me. Exodus 20. Exodus 20, 24 says, Okay, Exodus 20, 24 says, an altar of earth shall you make for me. God is telling us. An altar of earth shall you make for me. And sacrifice on it a bond offering. And your peace offering. Your sheep and your oxen. In every place where I cause my name to be remembered. I will come to you and bless you. In any way. In anywhere you laid an altar, God will come there and bless you. He said, an altar of earth shall you make me. Make me an altar. Build an altar for me. When you build an altar for God, he blesses you. Quickly, how to build an altar. You're going to build this altar on the first of January. It's about on the 1st of January. This is what you're going to do. You're going to build this altar with money. 
Since we cannot build physical altar, we can build with money. Sorry, since we cannot build with ram and um, um, sheep, we can build with money. What do I mean? Oh, I wanted to get money so I can do. Okay, what do I mean? Let me assume you're going to be giving one dollar. One dollar, right? In each of the altars, hold on. Let me let me show you an example. Hold on. I want to show you an example. Let me assume you want to build an altar, right? This is money. This is 500, right? 500 Naira. I'm using this for the first... I'm assuming that is what you want to do. I'm using this for the first altar. Each... as I've started with this one. 500. 500. 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, seven of them. Seven of them for the altar. If you're using 1,000, if you're using any amount you want to use, I'm using my currency. Any amount you want to use, let them be the same thing. Let them be the same amount. Let the oh, let the money be the same amount. Please, this is important. Please. Listen and listen very well. It is extremely important. If you've never listened to any of my prayers and my teaching, do this one. So that by 2023, you will have your blessings. You will not complain again. Things will work for you. Because this is very, very very effective if you're using this 500 you're going to use 507 pieces if you're using 1000 you're going to use 1007 pieces if you're using 200 you're going to use 207 pieces it depends on how much you want to give then you write your prayer intentions it is very important. Write your prayer intentions. What do you want to God to do for you in 2023? What type of blessings do you want to see manifest in 2023? What good news do you want to be hearing in 2023? Write everything. There is no limit. Don't say, I will write this one and leave every single thing you want god to do for you please write it down every single thing you want god to do for you write it down because believe me every single one of them will come to pass you will write it down sorry i've scattered my altar I have an altar here, so let me assume, let me tear this out, so I'll show you something. I'm tearing the paper, right? I'm going to write my prayer request on this paper. Hmm? I'm going to write my prayer request on this paper. This is my first paper. This is my first money. When I'm done writing my prayer request, I will tie it like this inside the paper. This is the first one, and I'll drop it. I'll bring another money. I'll bring another paper with my request written on it. You're going to write seven prayer requests. If you want them to be the same thing, no problem. Write all your prayer requests, duplicate it seven, in seven places. Write all your prayer requests and duplicate it. When you duplicate it, 
you can when you get to the altar okay we've not gotten to that part then when you've done one two three four five six seven even your prayer requests you duplicate yourself your prayer request into seven places then this is what you're going to do you're going to pray for three days you're going to pray for three days meanwhile we are going to be starting our midnight prayer here i'm going to come live on the 28th on the 29th and on the 30th i'm going to come live and we're going to pray for this altar seed we're going to be praying for the seed that we've brought out to use for altar and we're going to be praying for three days midnight prayer so i'm going to be coming live for three days and we will pray when we are done praying on the first of january on the first of january 2023 please take your altar take your seed this is where the miracle happens this is where the miracle happens take your seed go to seven churches remember you made seven seed go to seven churches and drop your seed go to the first church locate their altar but first of all make sure that the altar you're going to is the altar of god make sure that the church you want to go and drop that seed that jesus christ of nazareth is on in lives in that church a lot of people sow seeds and sow to altars that are that are that, that are evil there are so many altars that are corrupt there are so many altars that jesus christ is not the foundation they have another foundation under them. When you sow your seed in such altar, it scatters you. Please, this is important. I am begging you. When you sow your seed in an altar that there is no Jesus in it, that the pastors do abracata abracata there, the pastors do magic in form of miracle, your prayers will shatter look for a living church if you don't know of anyone please go to the blessed sacraments you don't need to be a catholic even if you're a catholic or not if you're not a catholic please i will indulge you to please look for a chapel a blessed sacrament a catholic church go to a catholic church ask them of their blessed sacrament there is an altar there go to that altar where there is blessed sacraments there go and drop your seed i am a catholic so that faithful day i will be visiting seven blessed sacraments i am not putting my money in any other altar apart from blessed sacraments because i don't know the foundation in which their altars were made so i am sure of the altar of blessed sacraments so if you can locate a church a chapel a blessed sacrament go there and drop your first altar look for another blessed sacrament go there and drop another one it is psalm 23 not psalm 25 psalm 23 go there and drop another altar go there sorry your seed go go to another place and drop another seed go to another place and drop another seed go to another place until it's seven until you've dropped your seven seed then when you get to a particular altar this is what you're going to do kneel down there place your right hand on the altar this is if you can write this particular place down so that you don't forget it when you get there kneel down on the altar 
place your right hand on the altar. Then you pray like this. I call your name. When you place your altar, you, you, your hands, you pray. I, so, so, so person. Let me take, for instance, I, Barbara Johnson. The daughter of, call your mother's name, your mother. Your mother's name, that's her father's, her father's name. Your own mother, her father, call the name. I call your name, your mother's name, the daughter of, the son of. I have come to this altar and I have come to drop my sacrifice. And I speak. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that every power that comes from this altar will speak for me all through the month, all through the year 2023. Yes, write your name. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you, John James. Thank you so much. I am grateful. Thank you. So, write your name. I, I, Barbara Johnson, daughter of, you call your mother's name. I have come to this altar and I have come that every power that comes from this altar will speak for me. All through the year 2023, I have come to ask for favor on this altar. The Bible says, he who God has blessed, no one can curse. I pray, Jesus, you are praying with authority. And I decree in the name of Jesus that i will be liberated this is a powerful prayer and it's a powerful utterance it is a very powerful utterance when i'm done with this video you can come back to this particular one write it down write it down because you'll be saying it that day i have come in the name of jesus and i decree that every power, every prosperity, every restoration, every blessing that comes out from this altar shall be my portion. From this altar, remember your right hand placed on the altar. If you don't have, if some people, the altar is guided so they can't reach the altar. Touch, touch, let your hands touch the ground. Let your hands, let here, here, please. Make sure here touches the ground. It is important. Let it touch the ground. You, you continue that the power from this altar will speak for me. Hi, Sharon, good morning. That the blessings from this altar will speak for me wherever I go in the year 2023. Remember, you're doing it on the 1st of January, 2023. That is the first thing you're doing. So you're praying and you're blessing your year. That prayer is important. Yes, you write your name on it. I've said it before. Write your name. So, that you're praying in the name of Jesus. That every power from this altar will speak for you. The blessings that comes out from this altar will speak for you. That no curse, no curse will stand in your life. If I drop one altar in my church and go to bless the sacrament, it's okay. It's okay. I believe in your church. As long as Jesus Christ of Nazareth reigns in your church, it is okay. What we want is where there is a living God. So that, because if 
an altar is built with a living God, if an altar is built in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, by the power of Jesus, it gives you blessing. It doesn't curse you. If an altar is built in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, everything you do on that altar is blessed. But if an altar is cursed, if an altar is, has a faulty foundation, it will not bless you. That is the honest truth. It, it, it will only be cursed that will come out from that altar. That is why I said make sure you locate a, a, a church that serves God in truth and in spirit. It is important. Locate a church that serves God in truth and in spirit. I believe in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I believe in the power of the resurrection. I don't believe in any other power. I believe that Jesus Christ is able to do everything I want and give me everything I want. I believe that 100% without any doubt. So locate a church that serves Jesus in truth and in spirit. So when on that altar, sorry, I was interrupted. When on that altar, put your hands Put your hands there. In the name of Jesus, I call forth the blessings that comes out from this altar. Every altar brings out blessing. If, you, if your eyes, your spiritual eyes is open, you will see that every altar brings out blessing each day. So that is why you need to register your name. That is why you need to start with your name. So that all through 2023, that altar will remember you. That is why you need to start with your name. Remember, when you kneel down first with your palm placed on the altar, you will start, I, you call your name, the daughter of or the son of, you call your mother's maiden name. I didn't say your father. Your mother, your mother's maiden name. You will call your mother's maiden name. The daughter of, you call her full son name when she was in her father's house. I have come to this altar today to seek blessing for the year 2023. And I decree in the name of Jesus that every power, every blessing, every restoration, every healing, Every miracle that comes from this altar will be my portion in the year 2023. If it's possible to remove your footwear, please remove it. Plant your leg on that altar. This thing is powerful. Don't joke with it. Plant your leg, your leg on that altar. Plant your feet on it. Remove your footwear. Plant your feet on that altar let the power from that altar speak for you then this is when you when you finish registering your name on that altar that the blessings of that altar will be your portion that the favors from that altar will be your portion that every good thing that comes out from this altar will be your portion in the year 2023 you want wealth don't be shy to call money don't be shy to tell god the kind of money you want you want effortless wealth. Hey, you want effortless wealth. You want to make money effortlessly. You want blessings to flow in your life, to flow in your family. You want favor. If you need a job, tell them, tell God the type of job you need. You need the, you need the husband, you need your husband to come back to you. Tell God what you want. If you're single, you're praying for a spouse. Don't tell God, just give me any man. No, if you tell God to give you any man, God will give you any man. Be specific the type of man you want. Skin color, anything you want, be specific. Where you want him to come from, these things work, work, work perfectly well. Whatever you say, the Bible says, whatever I hear you say, that I will do. I will honor the words of your mouth. I will do whatever you want me to do for you. He is God. 
Remember that he has given you an open check to ask. The Bible says, ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door shall be opened to you. It is a blank check. It is blank like this. Whatever you want him to do for you, he will do for you. So, when you're done, you're going to now bring that altar, your, that seed you're going to drop there. Remember that we wrote our prayer requests. Remember that we wrote our intentions. We wrote our intentions. Then, what you're going to do is this. You will start saying your intentions. That intention you wrote with that seed. Hold the money. Hold the money like this. Raise it up. Then you start saying your intentions. The one you wrote down. The intentions you wrote down. You will start saying your intentions. Read it out. Speak it out so that the words, that altar, that altar hears you. That altar hears you. God is there and God hears you. So you start saying what you want. When you're done saying your intentions, telling God what you want, everything you want God to do for you, when you're done, you say, Amen. Remember, you will go by saying, it is done. It is done. It is done. Three times. It is done. It is done. It is done. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Then you go and drop your altar seed. Drop your altar seed with your request. There on the altar. You drop the money. You drop your seed. You drop your prayer request. You drop it on the altar. Then you go. You're going to do this in each of the altars, seven of them that you're visiting. In each of the seven altars you're visiting, you're going to drop this. Please share this video to people. If you have a loved one, you want, you want him or her to succeed. Your children, you want them to prosper. Your relative, you want them to be established in 2023. Share this video to them so that they can partake in these altars. Wherever they are, they can go ahead and sow their seed. They should not give it to anybody. Don't tell anyone to do that thing for you because you need to register your name. I was speaking with someone yesterday. He was telling me that where he is, that is only one church around and there's no other place if i can help him i sincerely told him no i can't do it for you the reason why i can't do it for you is this i don't know your name even if i know your name it is my presence that will be there remember i'm going to place my palm it is not your palm so that i don't take your blessing i'm going to place my palm on that altar and i'm going to place my feet on that altar so i can't do it on your behalf you can only do it yourself. You need to visit it yourself. Go there, make your intentions known yourself. Because as, let, let me assume I'm doing it for someone. If I go there and I place my palm, it is me. It is my palm that is there, not yours. I just registered myself on that altar, not you. I may call your name, but I'm physically there. And will share that blessing. So for you not to share your blessing with anyone, you need to go yourself. You need to go yourself, even if it's one. I know a lot of people, especially people. That is what I want to talk about now. He said, what if you send the money on phone? That is what I want to talk about. I know a lot of people, right? A lot of people don't um, have just one church and others are far. Yes, I know. So this is what you're going to do. That's one that is close. Go. Even if it's one that you went to, go there. Register yourself on an altar that day. I don't know if you understand me. Excuse me. Let me assume it is just one church that is around you. The others are far. Hmm? Go to that one church. I want you to register yourself. On an altar plant your feet on an altar 
even if it's one altar, plant your feet there. It's okay. You're not behind. You can you can watch the video again. I even encourage you to go ahead and watch the video again so that you understand very well what I'm saying. Even if it's one church you have, go there. At least register your name there. Hmm? Then, when you come back, if you follow churches around, maybe online, sorry, you know a church and you know God lives there and you follow them online. Remember that we have prayed on this morning for three days. Hmm? What you're going to do is this. I explained it, Kennedy. What I mean by register yourself. I explained it. You register with your palm. You place your palm on the altar. Your feet on the altar. With your name, calling your name and your mother's son name. It is registering yourself. That was what I said. If you Maybe you were not following. You just came in. I just explained it. So, if you, you need to go first to a church and do the first one yourself. Then the seventh of the six of them, if you know a church you follow online, maybe you follow their program online and you love what they are doing online. Not me, please don't send. I'm not a church. Don't send to me. I don't do church. I just preach the word of God. You know a church you follow. And you just ask for the account number. But before you send it, before you send it, bring your petition. Bring your petition. Pray over your petitions. Pray over your petitions and send it to that church. If there are churches you follow online, you can do it too. But first of all, make sure that you go to, even if it's one, one physical church. Go to one physical church. And register in on sorry and register yourself on a physical altar. You're welcome. Register yourself on a physical altar. When you register yourself there, then the other ones, the other six seed that you have, you can now do transfer to churches you know that have a living God. When you do before you do that pray before you do that pray when you send it to them your debit alert the debit alert you get use that debit alert and speak words into your life it is the seed it is the altar that you've done pray but make sure that you believe in the in that church make sure that you believe in that church you're about to give to hmm? that is what you're going to do if you don't have any church around you do this and come back with testimony. I repeat again, I can brag with this one 100%. I can brag with what God will do for you with this altar seed. I can brag what God can do. Like, tell you 100% that if you try these things, believe me. I want interested for... Hi, welcome. Good morning. Senior, good morning. Believe me, what God would do for you. Hi, Elizabeth. Good morning. What God would do for you through this all seed, through this altar seed, will marvel you. What God would do for you through this altar seed will marvel you. It is a seven seed. Remember. It was on that seven seed that Balaam stood when he told them, make me seven altars. When the, those seven altars was made, he stood there. You can read Numbers 22. Numbers, sorry, Numbers 23. Numbers 23. It was on that seed that Balaam stood on the altars and he blessed the children of God. He blessed them from his heart with the power coming from the altar so you can get your blessings you can get your miracles so also we're going to be doing midnight prayer on the 28th on the 29th and on the 30th i will come live and we're going to do the midnight prayer it will start by at least 
12 a.m. Yes, 12 a.m. West African time. 12 a.m. West African time. Mm -mm. Can, someone said, can I put all the seven seeds in the same altar? No. You cannot put the seven seed in the same altar. You need to put it in different altars. Beca because different altars, altars have different functions. What this altar does is not what this altar does. It's not what this altar does. It's not what this... So you need to duplicate them. Put them in different altars. So that the power from those different altars can speak for you. The powers from those different altars can speak for you. Okay? So you're going to be doing it on the 1st of January. In case you come across this video, maybe not 1st of January... Maybe any time you come across this video, any time you come across this video, please do it on the first of the month. Even if you don't, if I'm, this is for people who will come across this video, maybe in three months time, in four months time, whenever you come across this video and you want to carry out this prayer, wait till the first of a month you do it. These prayers are done on the first. On the first of every month, these prayers are done. So you wait till the first of the next month for you to do it. Do it on first, first, first. That is when to lay these altars. And I tell you the truth. The power from these altars will and must speak for you. When you're done doing these things, just remove your mind. You've sown your seed. It is not you that will do the rest. God is now owing you. You've done your part. You've registered yourself. It is now left for God to come and manifest his powers in your life. So when you do these things, when you're done doing them, just relax, remove your mind. Go ahead, go and look for a job. Go and do some business. Go and get busy. Because whatever you do, God will bless you. But remember, you must be doing something. Make sure you are doing something. Make sure you're working make sure you're doing something so that god can locate you so that god can come and bless you because remember i tell you the truth god will indeed bless you and give you all that you want okay mm -hmm. so it is 48 minutes already and i'm excited are you excited are you excited i'm excited <laughs> because this this altar i know what the last altar did for me the last altar <laughs> the last altar even okay i i i got to know about this altar seed last year right last year by this time last year let me tell you how i got to know about it so on the first of by this time last year, I got to know about it. And I told my mom. My mom told her friend. Her friend called me and asked me. I told her what to do. And she, on the 1st of January this year, this 2022, she and I, we went to different altars that day. I slept like a baby. Wow, good morning. I slept like a baby after the salt bath. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. And your testimony is coming. So, we went to different altars that day. On the 1st of January this year, 2022. I went to different altars, seven altars, and I dropped my seed. So, the lady went to seven altars and dropped her seed. If we tell you what God is doing for us, if we tell you what God is doing for my mom did not go i told her to come let's go i'm telling you the truth i don't lie i told her to come and follow me to to let's go do altar see she didn't go she gave me reasons she said she was just going to go to one and she did so when she started seeing the things that are happening in our lives she was like no this year this year 2023 or next year 2023 that she's going to go and so her own altar seed. The power in this seed is powerful. The power in this seed is powerful. The power in this seed is powerful. 
I'm excited though. I'm excited. Please share this video out to people. If there is the basket on that altar, can I drop it inside the basket? Yes. When you're done praying, drop your seed and your prayer request inside the basket. Mm -hmm. That's where you're going to drop it. Drop the seed and um, the prayer request inside the Bible. Drop it inside. It will help you. Okay? And one good thing about this thing is, this altar seed is this. It's, it brings financial breakthrough. The kind of financial breakthrough you will encounter. Hmm? The type of financial breakthrough you will encounter. It will marvel you. It will marvel you. It will give you financial breakthrough that, you see, all your years of struggling, all your years of looking for money, eh? You will not get the kind of financial breakthrough that you will get this this year when you do it. The kind of financial breakthrough you will get will supersede all the days you've worked. It will supersede all the days you work. That's why I said do it with money. Because it brings one million folds. It brings back to you in abundance. It is extremely powerful. Extremely powerful. So, any question before I go? Pray for my husband. He applied to join the army and the names are coming out next week, but things are not going for him well. Tell your husband to do a salt bath. Tell your husband to do a salt bath. He needs to do a salt bath. I've told you the importance of salt bath. Salt bath is very important. Someone gave me testimony. Is she here? What's her name? Christy something. Christy, she called me yesterday and she dropped a testimony. I don't know. If you're here, please let me know. Can you write your testimony? She called me yesterday and she was telling me her testimony and I started crying. I literally cried. She did salt bath. Just the first day of doing salt bath and things changed. She said she has not been happy the way she was in a long time. I started shedding tears. I started shedding tears. I come life every morning. I come life every morning. Every morning I come life. So, do you guys have any question concerning this altar seed? Do you have a question? Please share this video. Share it on your WhatsApp. Share it on your Facebook. Share it on your group chat. I've dropped a message on your WhatsApp, but okay. I will reply that after this live. I'll reply that after this live. Okay. Um, if you don't have a question, I need to go. I need to go to work. Do you have a question? I just have a few minutes to go to work. Mm. Any question concerning the altar seed? So, I think I should end this here. I've come to the end of the this video go to work and have a blessed day you too have a blessed day have a blessed day may the good lord bless you <laughs> may the good lord bless you and give you all your heart desire you're loved i love you i love you and take care of yourself take care of yourself i didn't get the last message someone dropped the message just saw you this morning hi victor and good morning have a blessed day to James. Thank you for me. Let me pray for you, James. In the name of Jesus. As you've brought out to give me super thanks, so shall you be favored. In all you do, you shall be favored. James, I speak favor of the Lord into your life. And I decree that no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. Even when the evil ones gather against you, they shall scatter. Because you're the blessed of the Lord. And your pockets shall be filled with blessings. With financial blessings. You will not lack. As you've given this super thanks today. You will not lack. 
it will keep increasing. You shall have overflow. You shall have all the good things you want. And the good Lord will bless you. The good Lord will provide for you. And the good Lord will wipe away your tears. Every prayer that you've made, in the name of Jesus, I say an amen to that. And may the good Lord hear your prayers and wipe away your tears. God bless you. And thank you. God bless you. Whew. So guys, let me go. I'm late already. Whoa, it's almost eight after eight okay have an amazing day stay blessed stay confident and may the good lord bless you sanctify you and give you all your heart desires okay god bless you bye bye